Welcome back to the shop, friends. So in today's video, I'm extending the French cleat tool wall and adding some new clamp racks. If you're new here, my name is Jim and I'm the creator of the Lasting Build channel. I'm a hobby woodworker and carpenter. I make weekly videos intended to help you improve your skills and inspire that next project. So this is the area of the wall where we're gonna be extending the wall cleat. There is a couple barriers to adding the cleats to this part of the wall. That's probably why I didn't place them there originally. One of the issues is the four inch dust collection chute that goes to my miter saw. And the other issue is this water line that went to my old garden. So the good news is I'm not using the water line anymore so we can remove that, just cap it off up in the ceiling and that won't be in the way of our tool holders. So let me get rid of this water line real quick and then we'll get to the wall cleat. So I got rid of that water line, capped it, and just water tested it. I don't see any water leak. I'm only gonna add two wall cleats here because really all I want down here is my pipe clamps. So I'm gonna put one at the top and then the third one down. So I wanna tie in the wall cleat, not only to the studs here, but this stud that these screws are in here. So let me pull these screws out and remove all this stuff. And then we'll trim these wall cleats down so we can abut the other wall cleats to this one. So let me go ahead and remove those screws and then I'm going to mark a straight edge on each of the boards and use my circular saw to cut them to length. That would have been a lot easier if I had planned ahead when I originally put the cleats on the wall. Now I just cut these boards at 90 degrees, but if you really wanted to, you could certainly, you could certainly miter them at a 45 degree angle and have a 45 degree lap joint between the boards. So I went ahead and cut up a couple wall cleats to extend the, the cleat wall. Now my wall cleats measure five and three quarter inches wide. And certainly you can have them much more narrow if that's what you, what you choose to do. It's easier to get two nice big screws if it's wider. Plus it gives a nice firm surface for your holders to mount to the wall if you have a little bit of a wider cleat. So let me slide one of these up here and I'm gonna mark out the position of the screws. We need to pre-drill. I'm gonna drill out the holes for the screws an inch and a half from the top and an inch and a half from the bottom just like I did on the original cleats. It's important to recess the screws in your wall cleats, that way the screw heads don't obstruct your tool holders. I still had to angle these screws a little bit that direction towards the stud to hit it. So this is the old Rockler pipe clamp that I had on the tool wall before I added some of the recent holders. So I'm gonna put this one on the top and then I'm gonna make another one of these so I'll have room towards the bottom of the wall as well. So this is the new one I made up so I'd have some additional pipe clamp storage. And I bought these Rockler pipe clamp racks off of Amazon and I simply screw those to a piece of a scrap plywood that I cut on the table saw and then I also glued and screwed a cleat, a tool cleat, to the back of it. 
so that way it will easily mount to the wall. So I'm gonna stagger them a little bit, that way the longer ones can pass by the shorter ones. So I originally planned to hang the longer ones above the shorter ones, thinking that the longer ones would overlap the short ones, but that's not gonna work because the pipes will be hitting these middle sections. Well, I wasn't able to stack the clamps like I originally planned. I was hoping I could get all the pipe clamps right here. I could certainly design something probably that would do that, but it would be quite a bit of work. The other annoying limitation I have is the garage door runner here. It sort of limits how far out I can come this direction. Otherwise, I could build a clamp rack that offset the top clamps over the top of the bottom, but I can't do it because of this rail. What I did do for now is just put some of these random holders over here that I can hang stuff on. I mean, I don't use the pipe clamps really super often, so if I'm gonna be grabbing clamps, I can move some of this stuff and then get the clamps down. I'm starting to think that it may be worthwhile to put another row of wall cleats along the bottom of the wall. It's nice to open up a little bit more space on my tool wall, even though it didn't work out exactly like I meant to. If you haven't already seen my French cleat playlist, click there and take a look through the videos. There is a ton of information there, very comprehensive over French cleats. I guarantee you'll learn something. I'll see you there.